there, it's Chef Katie. Thanks for joining me in the kitchen. Today, we are going to play with Romanesco. Look at this beautiful guy. What in the heck, right? Romanesco, he's Italian, obviously, right? Been around since the 16th century. This is one old dude. And he is part of the cabbage family, so he's a relative of broccoli and cauliflower and Brussels sprouts. All those guys sort of live together in the same flavor sphere. And you can steam them like you would cauliflower or broccoli, but he has a really nice nutty flavor. And I want to bring out that nutty flavor by roasting him. So I'm going to show you how to steam roast your Romanesco. <laughs> Join me on the cutting board. Before we get cutting, preset your oven to 450 degrees. Now that we have our Romanesco, here's how we're going to prepare it. So the first thing you want to do is get rid of that core, just like you would for cauliflower. Easiest way to do that, take your knife, go a little bit above the core, split it, and then use your hands so that the florets break off easily. From here, just find where that core is. You can run your knife right along the outside of it. Boom. Get rid of that. And I want to keep these big, beautiful pieces so that it's clear that this is not broccoli. You can see those big florets. Beautiful. Excellent. Any little bits coming off, get rid of those. So you want to take your big florets, right? Try to keep them in big pieces and transfer them to a pan or a baking dish, whatever you got. Right? Boom. We're going to add just enough water to cover the bottom of the pan because we're steam roasting this without any oil. So keeping it low fat, fat free, it's just the Romanesco flavor. So you want to add about it's about three fourths a cup of water, just enough to come up off the bottom of the pan. So about three fourths a cup for this size pan. Let's pop them in the oven. Pop them in our 450 oven. Set your timer for 30 minutes. After about 15 minutes, when you start to see some color on parts of the florets, you're going to want to flip them. You can so our beautiful Romanesco has been in for 30 minutes. And you can see the beautiful color has gotten the, the water on the bottom of the pan has pretty much evaporated. You want to double check and make sure it's tender enough by taking a nice paring knife, a little sharp knife like this, putting it into a core, piece of the core, and it should glide right like that. Oh, just in and out. Ready to go? Let's plate it up with some salt and pepper. Beautiful Romanesco, ready to eat. <laughs> Remember, Romanesco rules because plants rule. This is Chef Katie. I'll see you next time in the kitchen. Let's get eating. Boom!